if your engine burns or consumes oil from stock piston rings. So that will share the easiest method that I've found for unsticking piston rings. And best of all, it doesn't require any disassembly or pouring chemicals down the spark plug hole. And it's something you can do even if you don't have any DIY or car fixing experience. Now let's get this. <laughs> These two top rings are the compression rings on the piston while this bottom one with the ridges is the oil control ring or oil ring which essentially prevents oil from moving from the sump into the combustion chamber. You can see that while the compression rings appear to be moving freely on this piston the oil control ring as well as the compression rings are sticking on this piston and are less free. As long as you've been able to rule out other causes of oil consumption like a clogged PCV valve, oil leaks, cylinder wear and stuff like that, a stock of sticky oil ring might be the reason why your car is using oil. This was exactly what was happening on my 2017 Accord. Each time I refill the oil to the full mark, I typically need to do another top up because the oil would have gotten near the low mark once I drive around 1200 miles. The easiest way to unstick the oil rings including the compression ring is by driving the car at high RPMs over a prolonged period while using a good fuel system cleaner. If you follow this channel you would know that I recently cleared carbon from my piston by using liquid molly valve clean in a number of gas tanks while driving at least 100 miles at wide open throttle with each refill. Driving at wide open throttle for sustained periods at high RPM significantly raises the temperature of the combustion chamber and the added heat helps to unstick the piston rings. The fuel additive also helps in the process of cleaning any carbon and varnish which would be the reason why the rings are sticking. As much as possible you want to keep the revs around the top 40% of the tachometer without redlining the car. Note that just simply sitting in the car and revving it at a spot won't do anything as the engine needs to be under load for this to work. Since completing this procedure I now have minimal oil loss. Having driven about 2500 miles since I last topped up the oil you can see that my oil level has only dropped this much and I'm pretty pleased. I should definitely add that if you want to use this procedure do drive responsibly and obey the speed limits. One thing you can do to help keep the revs up is to drive your car in sport mode which encourages the engine to rev higher. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace.